Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So it wasn't that long ago that any mention of fingerprint scanning would conjure up images of James Bond breaking into a supervillain's evil lair. These days, it seems like everyone from secret agents to travel agents is carrying around fingerprint scanners built into the smartphones that they're paying 30 bucks a month for. But how exactly do they work? And how have they found their way onto so many consumer devices? Well, as it turns out, typical fingerprint readers use the same principle of capacitance as trackpads and touchscreens. So, if you checked out our other episode on touchscreens, you'll know that they typically function by detecting the difference in charge between the lower layer of your skin, which is conductive, and the phone screen itself. Fingerprint readers adapt this concept for personal identification by cramming lots of tiny conductive plates into the space just below the scanner surface. They're narrower than the ridges that make up your fingerprints. When you place your fingertip against the reader, the sensors can tell which portions of your finger, the ridges, are touching the sensor and which are not, because the small valleys are further away from the sensor, which decreases the capacitance the tiny plates will pick up. The reader can use these differences in capacitance to form a virtual image of the ridges of your fingerprint. Now, these scanners have actually been on phones since 2007, but only really took off when Apple released Touch ID with the iPhone 5S in 2013. However, there are other types of fingerprint readers too. Optical scanners use visible light to capture a more traditional image of your fingertips, but these are uncommon, at least in portable devices, due to their bulk and ultrasonic fingerprint readers have the potential to be the next big thing. These work somewhat similarly to a bat's echolocation, the way they work out the shapes of objects in the dark. Ultrasonic pulses emanate from the reader and hit the ridges of your fingerprints. Then variations in the return signal are used to construct a scan. Ultrasonic sensors not only have the advantage of a cool, marketing-friendly name, but they can also work through other materials, allowing them to be seamlessly embedded underneath the phone's surface for a slicker look, or to peer through the crud and moisture on your hands for better reliability than their capacitive counterparts. Sounds great, right? But while many people originally thought of fingerprint sensors as a highly secure technology, perhaps because of their association with spy films, they certainly aren't foolproof, no matter exactly which variety you're using. Think of how the scanner on your phone will work even though you don't place your finger on it in exactly the same position every time. This is because they only require a good enough partial match to decide that it's your finger. Now this allows it to recognize you from many different angles, but it also means there's a small chance of a false positive. And even though master fingerprints are typically secured in some way, like how Apple encrypts the Touch ID fingerprint and stores it locally, it's still possible to defeat fingerprint readers using artificial molds that can be created if, say, some miscreant gets a hold of fingerprints that you left on a wine glass. So while the technology is super convenient, there are holes that have led most smartphone operating systems to also require a password or PIN, which is especially important if you're one of the few dozen or so people in the world that were born without fingerprints. Hmm. Well, speaking of fingerprints, are you trying to leave a unique impression on the world as a freelancer, but you're always racing against the clock? It's challenging, but with the growth of the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. To meet this need, check out FreshBooks Cloud Accounting Software, designed for the way that you work. It's the simplest and easiest way to be more productive, more organized, and most importantly, get paid quickly. Create and send professional-looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, set up online payments with just a couple of clicks, and get paid up to four days faster. See when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games. And right now, FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers. To claim it, just go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and enter techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. Okay guys, thanks for watching TechWiki. Like, dislike, check out our other channels, comment down below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe.